The only thing we need to work on and the only thing we think we need to work on are our weaknesses. Positive psychology says, why not focus on strengths as much as you do weaknesses? And if you think about psychology as a whole, right? When you think about psychology, you think about depression, anxiety, all of these mental health illnesses, right? That's psychology. Well, the opposite of psychology is positive psychology. And that's the focus on strengths, the focus on positive emotions, all of those things, right? And so that's why I love it. So you probably heard terms, the growth mindset, happiness, the science of happiness, thriving, flourishing, um, all those terms are rooted in positive psychology. Me and my assistant, Nicole, was talking about it. And I was like, oh, using positive psychology to overcome perfectionism. This is a beautiful way to teach people how to overcome something that may be holding them back. And so now that you know a little bit about positive psychology, let's talk about how you can utilize it to overcome perfectionism. As we said, perfectionism is that thing that really shows up in you, um, that trait that shows up in, to, in you that makes you feel like you can only be flawless, right? You can't make mistakes. But positive psychology says, hey girl, you have strengths. How can you use those? And so let's talk about it. The first way that you can use positive psychology to overcome perfectionism is to you identify and utilize your strengths. So let me just ask you a question. What are your strengths? What are you good at? Right? Not, not what do you need to work on, right? Because that's what we focus on the most. But I want to know, what are you good at? So what I want you to do is I really want you to understand your strengths. Now, I know some of us can just name off some strengths that we have, right? But there are some really great tools to help you understand your strengths. And some of them are paid, some of them are free. One of the free tools that I love is called the VIA, V-I-A, um, the VIA Character Strengths Assessment. So I'll say it again, the VIA Character Strengths Assessment. The VIA Character Strengths Assessment is, is, is an assessment that I use all the time. I use it for my clients. Um, I use it for family. I use it all the time because it helps us understand our character strengths. And let me just tell you about character. We all got skills. We all have skills. We all have strengths. But our skills can get us to the top. But it's our character that keeps us there. We all have character strengths. And on the VIA Character Strengths Assessment, we have 24. And what this survey does, this assessment does for you, is it kind of ranks your character strengths from, um, from the highest to the, to the 24th, right? They're all strengths, but then they're ranked. Now, the good thing about the VIA Character Strength Assessment is it's free. So you can Google VIA Character Strengths Assessment and you can take that for free. 